Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give all the glory to our master Jesus that today he has given us a break. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is another day that you have given to your children around the whole world. Father, we thank you for giving us a breath because you alone own a breath. We give you all the glory for a moment like this as you are about to give us a word. And may you have mercy upon us so that we can hear the word as we are thirsty to hear your word. Oh, we magnify your name. You alone is worthy to be praised. We thank you, covenanted God. We adore you, immortal, everlasting God. We thank you for the breath that we are still alive around your children all over the world. May your name be praised. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, our God is a faithful God. He has given us a word. And the title of the message, The Art of Sins. Without wasting time, we will go to Romans 7 and the verse is 11. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. We give him all the glory. Master Jesus, for a sin take occasion by commandment, deceive me, and by it kill me. This is Paul, Apostle Paul, is telling us about sin. Sin refers to the power within us that motivates us to commit a sinful act. It is a root of sin and the source of sin. Hallelujah. Sin is a force that compares us towards the way of lust and the passion of individual acts, a sinful act and an evil way, such as we need to repent, such as a sin of murder, a sin of envy, a sin of abortion, a sin of hatred. All these are sin before God. So this morning, Apostle Paul is telling us that all these, what I mentioned, are sin. And what we have to do is to repent because our God hates sin. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. Our next scripture is taken from Romans 5, 12. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Romans 5, 12. It says, therefore, just as through one man, sin entered the world and the death through sin. And that's death spread to all men because all sinned. Because we all are sinners. So, beloved, before God, man is a sinner. What kind of a person or a man? We are sinner. Sin reflects that life that we have. Beloved, we need to stop sinning. We need to run away from sin. Hallelujah. We continue. In Romans 8, in Romans 6, 18, let's hear what Paul is telling us. Romans 6, 18, it states, and having been set free from sin, you become Slave of righteousness. Hallelujah. So when we stop sinning, God will see us about our righteousness. Hallelujah. 
We have to stop sinning. And due to sin, we cannot be righteous before God because our God hates sinning. And we continue the same verse. And this one, 6, 22. But now, having been set free from sin and having become a slave of God, we have your fruits of holiness and the end everlasting life. Beloved, when we stop sinning, we become holy before our master, Lord Jesus Christ. So sin, God hates sin. We have to stop sinning and to be a fruit of holiness, a fruit of righteousness. Hallelujah. If we stop sinning, we will be free, free indeed. As the scripture is telling us, and we, the Holy Spirit will take over the whole body because there is no sin. And when we sin, Holy Spirit cannot dwell in us because we are filthy and we have to stop the filthiness of our soul. The filthiness in us that we commit in daily basis. So beloved, let us be free from sin. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ, the master, the king, want you and I to be free. Hallelujah. We continue. Sins. We see the Acts, the scripture of Acts. And it's 238. Let's hear about what the scripture is saying. Acts 2.38, then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. When we sin, Holy Spirit depart from us. But when we repent and we will have the baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and we will receive the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit, there is nothing you and I can do. He is in control. As Jesus said, I am going. But the Holy Spirit will come and teach you things, any hidden things. It is the Spirit of God that let us be aware. Our sinful nature cannot do it. It takes the Holy Spirit to guide our way. So, beloved, let us stop sinning. The Bible always speaks for forgiveness of sin. Something that it compares us to commit sin. Like what? Sins of fornication, sins of drunkenness, sins of uh, hatred, sins of so many things that we commit. When the power that is committed of sin is cast out, we will be free, hallelujah, from sin and be cast out from sin. So according to the scripture, it lets us know that God hates sin. Sin, according to the scripture, is the flesh. So we don't have to entertain the flesh. Sin is related to our being. 
Sin is a matter of overcoming. Hallelujah. Sin is like a tree. So we need to overcome sin. Beloved, sins are conduct. Sins are what we do. Sins are man's way. Sins are the fruit of the tree. So beloved, in Christ, we can overcome the sins or the sins that we commit in daily basis. We need to yield to the spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit, to direct our path. Without him, we cannot make it. So our filthiness before God, we need to repent from our dubious ways, our sinful nature. We need to repent. We continue in 1 John 5. Hallelujah. Let us read 1 John and the scripture is five, and I read First John five. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. First John five twelve. Let us hear the word of God. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Beloved, when you sin, you don't have the son of God in you because our God is so holy. And when you have the son, that means you are. The Holy Spirit is within you. So you fear and run away from sin. Beloved, let us know what our God doesn't want. He alone is worthy. Beloved, as the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, where will you run into, you and I, if we are still sinning? We don't have to sin due to sinful nature. Now, it is time for us to repent. This is the hour. This is the moment that we need to repent from our sinful ways, sinful ways, so that God Almighty will have mercy upon us. May God Almighty have mercy upon us. Spirit of the living God, help us. Without you, we cannot make it. So help it due to sin. Hallelujah. We give all the glory to the almighty God. And our greatest teacher, which is the Holy Spirit, to help us and direct us and deliver us from our sinful nature. May the spirit of the living God protect us and also bless his ordained prophet and time, Prophet Kenehu and the family, and also the viewers of Prophet Kenehu. May the spirit of God guide them and bless them and protect them. And also may their heart desire be met in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give him all the glory in his mighty name. Amen.